happy Monday, it's a brand new week, and here we are. So today I was thinking I would talk a little bit about taking action, um, you know, Nike's slogan, just do it, kind of that type of stuff, and uh, a little bit about kind of leading into paralysis by analysis, okay? So let's start with doing stuff. So often um, people get hung up on, oh, I can't, I'm not getting to the gym, and I'm not eating right, and blah, blah, blah. And I'm just saying, the way you will start doing that is not thinking about it too much. I, I mean, of course there's a mental component, right? So there is a mental component, and of course you should psych yourself up and be excited, make your vision board, make your goals, all this stuff. But one of the most powerful things I've found um, to make you get on the right path is actually doing the things that you want to be doing. Okay, so not sitting there thinking, um, what workout should I do? And what foods are right for me? And how much weight do I want to lose? And, um, you know, should I go to a gym? Should I do yoga? Should I do Pilates? What's the best workout? Let me read a million books. Um, I'm not saying that education isn't important. Of course, educate yourself. Keep yourself excited about those things by reading about them. But especially if you're new in this game, in this fitness world, don't read too much, okay? So don't confuse yourself. If you read every book on losing weight or fitness, you are gonna be so confused and it really, there's no reason to know all these crazy ideas. Me, I love to read these things because I like to see what others are thinking about the newest way to lose weight or the, the most, you know, recent workout craze and stuff like that. It's just entertainment to me and education, right? Um, but I take it with a grain of salt because I, I know a lot and I know how my body responds to things and I know how many other people's bodies respond to things because I've been doing this for so long. If you're new on this journey, I highly, highly, you know, caution against reading many, many books. Um, if you're going to read a book, read a book and then follow it maybe. But reading many, many books is, is really confusing because one will say, cut all carbs. The other will say, you need carbs. The other will say, you know, um, meat is going to make you lose weight. The other will say, don't eat any meat if you want to lose weight. So, you know, really you'd be eating nothing if you're reading all these, uh, <laughs> all these uh, you know, weight loss books and stuff like that. Same goes for exercise. So exercise books... One says do cardio, one says do weights, one says do high, high intensity training, one says do steady state cardio, and maybe you don't even know what some of these things mean, and you don't need to, you don't need to know these things to get fit, okay? It's fun, for me at least, to learn about these things and, and to put them into action, but you don't necessarily need to know all these details, okay? What I think is, you need to take action. Okay, it's fun. If you want to read and learn, and that's great. But if you want to make a, a big difference right now, get more fit, you know, and you're coming from a more, you know, maybe you're not fit right now. Maybe you haven't ever been fit or even if you have in the past, right? But you're not a fitness professional. You haven't been in this game for a million years reading everything and, and seeing how your body works. My uh, advice to you would be, Go, you know, do something, okay? So start eating healthy. Do you know what eating healthy is? You probably do. You know you shouldn't be eating, you know, fast food and, and tons of bad white carbs. These are kind of basic things that most people have a handle on. But they start reading because they want some magical solution. It's not really a magical solution. The magical solution is, is hard work and eating right and working out. And it should feel good. It shouldn't feel like a bad thing. It should feel amazing. But it is, it's, it's work. You don't go eat McDonald's all day and lose weight usually. Usually. Um, <laughs> you don't, you know, you know what, it's just like good and evil, right? You know what's good and what's evil. You don't need to read a million books to know. You know you shouldn't murder someone. You know you shouldn't steal things. You know you shouldn't lie. These are things that we kind of know. Same as in weight loss. We know you shouldn't eat cakes and, and chocolate and ice cream and, you know, McDonald's if you want to lose weight. We know that. That's common sense. So thinking about common sense to start. To start your journey, think about common sense. Don't eat garbage and exercise. 
Okay, so eat, replace that garbage with, you know what you should be eating, right? Greens and lean proteins and even if it's not perfect, you know what? Getting that idea happening is going to really propel you further, okay? So start with an action. Just do it, right? Nike had it right. Just do it. Just do it. Just get on it. Don't keep reading. Don't sit around thinking about your plan and thinking, thinking, thinking. I think a lot. Thinking is good, but action is better. So if you're having any trouble getting on your path, your fitness path, I would say action. Action is key. Do something right now. Get down and do 10 push-ups if you can. Try. Try and do them. Maybe you can only do two. Do what you can. Do a few crunches. Jump around. Get some activity in your life. You know, go out for a brisk walk or a jog, depending what your level is. Sign up to a gym. You know, get a personal trainer. Um, Start eating clean. Go buy some greens and, uh, you know, chicken and whatever it is, whatever you feel is that healthy food that you should be eating, go get it. Of course, education is awesome. And of course, it's great to go to a nutritionist or a personal trainer. Um, get some advice, you know, tweak your what you know and stuff like that. But the biggest thing right now is just getting up and doing those things. So go work out. Go eat healthy. What is eating healthy? You know, you can read a book, but don't read 50 books that say all different things, unless it's entertainment to you like it is to me. Um, so they're all going to say different things. I'm totally a fan of common sense, okay? So common sense. Don't eat bad things. Eat fairly healthy things. You know, don't starve yourself. Eat every three, four hours. Um, you know, eat some small meals throughout the day or eat three normal meals. You know, it's not a big deal. Don't sweat all those details. People sweat the details. You know, people will be in, in things with me, working with me, and they're asking me, you know, beginners are asking me these insane advanced questions. And it's like, you don't need to worry about that. You know what? Eat clean and exercise and let's see what we can do with that. The only time you start worrying about all those details is when that's not working for you anymore. So first let that work for you. Let and give it a chance to work for you. All too many times people they do a plan for a week or two weeks and then they're like, "Oh, it didn't work. I better find, you know, some other thing." First of all, were you were you not doing the plan exactly? You know, were you having cheats here and there? Were you missing all work Workouts all over the place. Um, but even if you were doing it to the T, it might take some time. Your body needs to adjust. Your body needs to see, oh, this is the new deal, right? So give it time. Stick with it. Have faith in what you're doing. If you're doing something that you think is really healthy, eating healthy foods, going to the gym, getting sweat sessions in there, then, you know, have faith and keep going. And, you know, even if you don't see all that fat loss right away or something so gratifying like that, you know, just you're having a healthy life. Isn't that amazing? Health is it. Think about it that way. I know some people find that a boring concept and they don't care about the health. They just want to lose weight, lose weight quick. Well, magic pill, magic diet, magic everything. They're on a different diet every week. This is not good. Just eat healthy consistently and work out. You know, it's that simple. Just do it and keep doing it. And you're going to see, it, you know, it all will pay off in the end. And, you know, give it some time. Give a plan you're on time. Even if you're not on a plan, if you're just eating healthy, working out, give it some time. It will have a lot of effects on your body, your inside and your outside, you know, health-wise inside and how you look on the outside. So stop um, looking, first of all, for that magic diet. There's not a magic diet. There's many people claiming to have magic diets and, you know, they're usually missing huge food groups. They're not healthy. You might lose weight initially, maybe, but it's not something you're going to continue with probably. And if you do, it's probably not healthy. If you're not eating any carbs or you're not eating any dairy or you're not eating any meat, what, like whatever it is, like there's huge groups of food missing usually from all these diets. Um, 
And the other thing is make sure it's not just diet. Get out there and get exercising. It Not only does it make you lose weight and look great, get some muscle tone, lose fat, all that stuff. It makes you feel great too. Think about that. I've been thinking about that a lot. Um, you know, so much more than, than appearance wise. Working out keeps me sane. It keeps me, you know, just happy and just in love with life. Working out is an amazing therapy better than almost anything in my books. Um, so just look at working out like that too. And you'll see differences as you go too, right? Like if, if you're coming from it, from that point of view, you'll be happy all the time because really it does change your attitude. And then you're gonna start seeing the differences as you keep up with that. You're gonna start noticing like, oh yeah, I do see. Um, changes in my body and then you don't get depressed when you don't see them right away, right? So focus on the other thing. Focus on the feelings you get from eating good. Do you feel great when you eat good? You know, you often, uh, people sometimes don't like to admit it, but you feel sluggish and sick often when you're eating, you know, garbage food all the time. When you start giving back to your body and eating healthy foods, it, it's an amazing feeling, I think. And you should try it and see if you think that too. Um, so, and if you've tried it, you know, right? So just go back to that health all the way and uh, just do it, okay? So get up and do something today that's gonna bring you closer to those goals, to your physical goals, to your fitness goals, to your feeling good goals. Um, just do it today, even if it's a small step. Just, you know, go walk around the block or have a salad for lunch. Do something right now that's gonna bring you closer. Don't sit there thinking about it and reading about it and, and just, you know, that causes you to do less for sure. Don't think much, just go have some action, just do it. And uh, you know, they came up with a great slogan there. It's amazing for life. I think it all the time in my head, just do it. Not even for fitness stuff, for other stuff too. Don't think much, just do it or else you won't do it. You know, people are always waiting for the perfect time to do things for the perfect, oh, I have to wait till the new year. Well, now it's the new year. So just do it. It's the new year. We've got, we're almost at the end of January. So if you haven't started your plan, you gotta start it now. Start that new life, new year right now um, because it's time. Don't sit there any longer. And if you've started it, good on you. That's amazing. And just keep going and upping it now as you go. Think, what can I do to, to progress even further, right? Um, add some extra workouts in. Add even healthier food. You know, start juicing. Start doing something. Try things out. So just do it. I hope you go out right now and do something that's going to bring you closer to your goal. All your goals in life. It doesn't just have to be fitness. You can think about this for almost anything. So go out there. Just do it. I'm super excited for you all to take some action. I'm going to go take some action right now. Bring me closer to my goals. I'm not going to think about it in my head so much. I'm going to just go do it. Action breeds action. You know, if you start doing something, it will cause momentum and you will just keep going and doing more and feeling great about it. We'll see you tomorrow for Fit Meg's shoe review. And uh, yeah, have an amazing day, guys. <laughs>